good trick after keying out your footage is to utilize masks. It helps you refine your key or your results, and we're going to show you how. When using a key, the results aren't always perfect. We can use masks to erase any stray objects outside our keyed subject. Let's apply a mask to remove these stray lines above and below our logo. Navigate to the Effects menu on the right and locate the mask effect. We'll do this by selecting All and typing Mask into the search bar. And there it is! Simply drag it onto the foreground clip. Now, in the viewer, we'll draw a rough mask around the logo. And click on this icon to hide the mask controls. And what do you know? It's like the extra lines were never there. Crisis averted. Masks aren't the only effects we can use with keys. We can apply a lighting effect to our logo so that it blends in with the lighting of the cup. One way to accomplish this is with the spot effect. We'll clear the search and click on light in our effects library. Scroll down a bit and here it is. We'll drag it onto our logo clip. Then we'll position it where the light seems to be hitting the cup. And in the inspector, we'll scroll down and make some adjustments to better match the lighting. Da -da 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 -da. Here is the final result. Well, spread the word, mother birds, share the knowledge. Final Cut Pro has free tutorials from Pixel Film Studios. They're awesome. Subscribe, share, comment below. Don't forget to check out Pixel Film Studios, where you can find Final Cut Pro plugins designed for beginners and professionals alike to take your projects to the next level.